Hey guys, it's been a long time since I have posted a video here and therefore I take this opportunity to thank you all for staying with me and thus supporting my channel. Today's video is all about my latest colored pencil tutorial which I have released on Skillshare and this tutorial can also be bought individually on my website. The details are in the description box below. So let's quickly go through all the materials that I have used for this flower. The paper I'm using is Stratmore Bristol Vellum paper, one of my favorite papers for colored pencil. Now let's talk about pencils. I'll be using Faber Castle Polychromos and Caran d'Ache Pablos majorly for this project. Other than these, I'm going to use a Prismacolor white pencil, a Caran d'Ache Luminance white pencil, Faber Castle pencil eraser and a battery operated eraser as my additional tools. Along with this tutorial, you will get a line drawing to trace from, reference picture and a list of pencils that I have used for this flower. Here you can see me using a kneaded eraser and going over the line drawing to remove any excess graphite so that it will not get mixed up with the lighter yellow colors. Now I will take Prismacolor white pencil and cover all the lightest highlighted areas. Prismacolor being a wax based pencil will protect the highlights on the petal and if accidentally I go over it with any darker color, I can easily erase or scrape it off to reveal the highlights. So with this pencil, I'm only going in those areas which are white in color. So now the first lightest color will be Cadmium Yellow Lemon from Polychromos. With this pencil, I'll color the whole petal except for the white areas. Always coloring in the direction of the form of the petal, that is in the direction of the veins that you see in the reference picture. Now with the lightest tone done, I'll be jumping on to the darkest tone. I'm using light olive from Pablo and I'll start coloring the veins and the shadow areas which lie in the dark tone region. This way I'll understand how light or dark the mid tone should go. So use a sharp pointed pencil and a very light hand pressure to draw in all those veins. Now I'm using green gold from Polychromos to go over some of the veins which are more warmer in tone. So here you can see me mixing two colors on the paper to get a third color. It's always better to know some basic color theory and in that way you will be able to do this drawing even with a limited colored pencil set. Understanding the color temperature will also help you in selecting appropriate colored pencils because even if you have 500 pencils in your color pencil box, you will never have the perfect uh, color for that particular project. So color theory will really help you out in selecting your colors. This is dark cadmium yellow from Polychromos to cover all the dark mid-tone areas. So basically, I'll be using this pencil to color the more orangey uh, shadow tones. I'm also going over the vein lines. Now this is light chrome yellow, a light mid-tone color, a good transition color between the lightest and the darkest yellow tones and with this I'll be going over the dark yellow tones as well 
so as to blend them all very nicely. And after the first initial layer is done, I again start with the darkest tone. This is earth green from Polychromos and I'll be going over all the darker green veins. And you can use a pencil eraser to erase in case you go a little heavy handed. Whenever I'm using any shadow colors for such light subjects, I like to go very slowly layer by layer to increase the intensity of that tone so as not to make the petal look too green or too orangey or too brown. It's better to give multiple layers in order to darken your shadows rather than just going in very dark in the first layer and then regret. So to further darken this tone, I am using Olive from Pablo. Using a good quality paper and a heavy weight paper will allow you to give multiple layers and also layer with very light hand pressure so as not to flatten the tooth of the paper, paper uh, very much in the beginning. Leave your heavy pressure uh, till your final layers. That way you will be able to give lots and lots of layers easily. With green gold again, I'll be deepening all the yellow shadow tones which is there near the center of the flower. Now with cadmium yellow which will be a mid mid-tone color and with this pencil I'll go over the mid-tones and dark tones further blending them and also giving a more deeper yellow tone. And now for the outermost part of the petal I'm again going to use cadmium yellow lemon. And with light olive from Pablo I'll be just giving a faint outline so that the light yellow part gets noticed. It will not just get vanished uh, away. And with white luminance pencil, I'll blend all these layers. Now the white areas on the petal are not completely white. So I'm using light gray from Pablo and just lightly going over the lighter areas. And with white luminance pencil, I'm just going to blend it further and make it a little bit more lighter and just smoothen out the whole layer. White luminance pencil is great for blending and burnishing the layers as it's a mixture of oil and wax based pencil. So it's more drier and more opaque. I continue giving more layers to further deepen all the tones and in doing so further smoothening all the layers thus eliminating the grainy texture and make the drawing look more like a painting. You can find this four and a half hours tutorial in real time on Skillshare. So if you're already a Skillshare member, then you can watch this there. And if not, then click the link in the description box to get one month free. Also, if you want to own this tutorial forever, then head to my website and you can buy it from there as well. I've also included a bonus video on how to select colored pencils, especially if you are a beginner, which you will get along with this tutorial as a bundle.
In this way, I color all the six petals in the same way using same technique and same colors. Some petals are more warmer than the others, so just follow your reference picture and accordingly uh, select your colored pencils. Here's a short clip where I show you how I use battery operated eraser to retrieve some highlights. So if you have accidentally covered your highlights, then you can erase them with this eraser. It's a very handy tool for any pencil artist. If you don't want any sharp lines, then you can also use a pencil eraser to lighten some of the colors and bring back some light into your drawing. And then I go with the lightest color I see in the highlight like yellow or white and then fill up the area. As we all know that colored pencil is a slow medium so have patience and trust the process. Once you start getting the techniques I'm sure you'll be able to relax more and enjoy the journey. This is a medium where you have a lot of control over your brush strokes so it's a very a uh, helpful medium especially if you are into realistic drawings. After the petals are done I start with the center. Here I am directly going in with the lightest yellow I see. There is no white highlights anywhere. For the shadow areas I start with light yellow ochre from polychromos as a base and then over it with sanguine again from polychromos for a more muted tone. With cadmium yellow and dark cadmium yellow, I'll be covering all the mid-tone areas. At few places, I can see bright orange light. So I come in with dark cadmium orange. This is the only place where I am giving a very bright shadow tone. But then to mute it down, I use terracotta from Polychromos. And fill up the entire shadow area on this uh, center portion. continue giving lots of layers to this center and then with white luminance pencil I just cover all the brightest highlights on this uh, center just giving it some uh, shine. Now we come to the most interesting part of this drawing which is the stem. For the green stem I start with the dark shadow area with dark indigo from polychromos. I like to use this color to darken the green tones instead of directly going in with black. Now over this I'll be using permanent green olive from Polychromos. This will be our dark mid-tone color which will also go over the dark indigo which we have already colored. This way we are blending the dark tone and the mid-tone areas. With May Green, I'll be coloring the lighter green areas and I'll also be going over the permanent green olive color to fill in all those white uh, gaps and further blending both the tones. After giving some darker details on the stem, I go in with Earth Green Yellowish from Polychromos which will be a good transition color between light and dark greens. 
thus blending and smoothening all the layers in process. With green gold, I want to give the warm reflected light which is coming from the petals above. After finishing the green stem, I start drawing in all the veins with Kaput Mortem. This is again from Polychromos. Using a pointed pencil, I lightly go over all the pencil lines. This step also ensures that I don't lose any of my line drawing as well. Then with Chromium Oxide Green, I start working on the dark shadows. Now for this part, I start with green gold again. This is again our darker tone for that particular area. I follow it up with olive yellow, also going over the green gold areas. And to further brighten and give a nice shine to the highlighted areas, I use a light yellow glaze. And with white, again, I'm just going to blend the layers and also give some light to the highlighted areas. I start working on the shadow down over here with earth green yellowish from Polychromos and also earth green from Polychromos. I am using light beige for all these very warm grey uh, areas. This is from Pablo's. In the list of materials provided, I will be also giving you the alternative to Pablo pencils. So in case you don't have these pencils, then I have given uh, the alternate colors in Polychromo, Polychromos brand. But suppose you don't have both of these brands, then you can use whatever pencils you have and then, and then match the colors uh, with the reference picture and then you're good to go. As we all know that colors are not that much important, so just uh, take select your colored pencils according to the tonal values. I have explained this in my video how to select colored pencils and this, is, this will be really helpful if you are a complete beginner and if you get confused on how to go about selecting your colors for any particular project. So in this way I finish each and every small bit parts of the stem, I take small small areas and try to uh, break, I've tried to break it down into smaller areas so that's easy for you to understand. I hope you watch this tutorial and try to attempt uh, to draw this uh, daffodil flower. Painting or drawing yellow subjects is a little bit tricky because yellows have a very limited value range. So what colors you have to use for the shadows uh, is very crucial to not make, uh, so as you don't make the yellow flower look muddy or uh, dull. So if you do attend this tutorial and uh, finish this drawing, please share it with me on social media i would love to see your result it is a long tutorial so take your time in finishing uh, 
watch the tutorial first step by step and I'm sure you'll be able to follow my instructions and if you have any questions uh, regarding this tutorial then you can always come back to me on any of the channels here on YouTube or Instagram or through email I will be very happy to help you out So after finishing the whole flower, I again check the tonal values of the entire flower as a whole and now I find that the shadows on the flower is uh, not that dark. So I take the put mortem and start darkening the very dark shadows on the flower as well. So I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and if you do then please like and if you have not subscribed already please do subscribe to my channel. I will be making more videos in the future. Till then, bye.